With spring just around the corner, people are already planning their home improvement projects. Uh, some people are not on that list, but uh, events like the Pittsburgh Home and Garden Show are great places to get ideas and meet with potential contractors. But before you hire someone, there are important questions to ask. John Shumway joins us live from the convention center. He has some advice from experts. John? Yeah, Ken, and it's not just now with the Home and Garden Show, but all the way through the spring, anytime you hire a contractor. And the Better Business Bureau says start with them. For instance, I checked out Charm Builders. These folks are from Ohio. They are here. I ran them on the Better Business Bureau. They came up with an A-plus rating. And I went around the corner to the folks from Metropolitan Windows again, an A-plus rating. But according to the BBB, that is not the case for everyone who's here. Whether it's building your new backyard shed or installing new anything, it's critical you're comfortable with the person doing the work. That comes with some due diligence. You have to do your homework when you're hiring a contractor. Under the sweeping roof of the convention center, contractors of every description have gathered to get your business. Looking to do something with my house for the uh, bathroom and the kitchen. They're all here, you know, and then, you know, because the competitors and they're just, you know, trying to do what they got to do. But the Better Business Bureau says go into your home improvement adventure with your eyes wide open. We have reports on over 300 of those companies. Almost 9% of them have a failing grade at the Better Business Bureau. And typically a failing grade would be unanswered complaints or a high volume of complaints. The Home and Garden Show's John DeSantis was surprised by the BBB's numbers, but says that they check out every vendor and look into any complaints. If we feel that there's something that's a reasonable issue, and sometimes there are reasonable issues, if there's a reasonable issue, we'll give the contractor the benefit of the doubt. If not, they're out or never in in the first place. King says the BBB recommends that you ask lots of questions. Make sure that they're registered to do residential construction. Ask if they have insurance and ask to see the insurance certificate and request references both current and past. You want to make sure that the people who are going to be doing this work on your home are the kind of people you want to be doing that work and people you believe you can trust. And get in writing the timetable for work when payments are due and the Better Business Bureau says never make a final payment until the work is done. And again, the Better Business Bureau says you start with their website. Go to BBB.com and uh, just put in the name like West Shore here. I put them in. They also came up with an A+. And the critical thing, again, get it in writing when you do reach a contract to say how much you're going to pay, when you're going to pay, and how much work has to be done before you pay, and never pay all up front or before the work is done. Live at the Convention Center, John Shumway. KDKA News.